You're biting me! Stop it! You are biting me! I'm terrified my nine-year-old daughter will either end up killing herself or someone else. As a young child, Mackenzie seemed sweet and perfectly fine. When she turned five, her behavior completely changed. She became more angry and difficult. People don't know I'm exaggerating. As Mackenzie became older, her behavior has gotten more extreme. It is the worst it's ever been. Don't forget, I'm always stronger than you. Undescribable. She threw a pair of scissors at her teacher, headbutted a school monitor, and one time she tried tipping over my niece's crib while she was lying in it. Her behavior has terrified her younger brother, Caden. One time we were coming back from vacation Bible school and Mackenzie had clawed Caden's eye simply over she wanted to be in the front seat. Mackenzie has told me she wants to die. So when we were at my sister's house, Mackenzie ran into a busy road and just stood there just holding her arms out. She'll say, I want you to die, bitch. But then after the fact, she'll say, Mommy, I'm, I'm so sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Parenting Mackenzie is very exhausting. Mackenzie's father and I split up a number of years ago. I wish he would help more and get more involved. As a single parent handling all this, it's beyond overwhelming. Mackenzie has been diagnosed with ADHD, ODD, and disruptive mood disorder. Mackenzie has seen five psychiatrists and three therapists over the years and has been on a minimum of 25 medications. There's not a current treatment plan for Mackenzie. Recently, we had an MRI scan done and the results revealed no problems. I'm very frustrated because it seems nobody knows what's wrong with Mackenzie. And I'm afraid as she gets older, her behavior is only going to get worse. I know Mackenzie's never going to be perfect, but the torment that I go through every day just can't continue. Lisa, I'm, I'm glad you're here. And um, I think before this is over, you're going to be really glad you're here. Your fear is that this has gone so far that your child's gonna kill herself or somebody else? Absolutely. Do you think she could hurt you, her little brother? She has. Do you think this child is possessed? Do you think this child is evil? Do you think, what do you think? Sometimes in the moment, I think she doesn't know what she's doing, but then the aftermath, like if, for instance, standing in the middle of the road, she knows she will tell you, hey, if you stand in the road, it's not safe but she will do so anyways in the moment, not caring what happens. Right. And when, when we're talking about her behavior, we're talking about some pretty deviant behavior here. Every day. Uh, she's violent to animals, yes. right? She's kicked the dog. She's hit a pet rabbit mm -hmm. that you've had. I mean, we're talking about aggressively here. Uh, she watches inappropriate sexual videos on YouTube and she knows this isn't. She smashed the TV, DVD player and tablet. She sits in the middle of the road. We talked about that. Uh, she bangs her head against the wall and the floor. Mm -hmm. It takes everything in me to physically restrain her for her own safety as if like I was fighting with a grown woman or something, like, okay. like literally. All right, and you say she gave a poisonous packet to a friend of hers to taste. Yes. Knowing this is something you're not supposed to eat. Right. Okay, and she threw scissors at a teacher and cut his face. His forehead, yes. Yeah. She's head-butted the school bus monitor. Mm -hmm. Was he or she trying to control her and she head-butted or what? She was throwing papers out the bus window and she was like, you need to sit down and then that's all it took. She started getting up. Um, and trying to fight with the monitor and she was restraining her and then that's when she said bam and just right in the head. I was speechless, I was embarrassed. Okay, now you've been driving the car before and you say she grabs the wheel, steering wheel and tries to crash the car. That was less than a week ago. She just grabbed the wheel and said, I hate you, I want you to die, bitch. So she swears, punches, bites. Yes. This is pretty routine. Yes. All right, and you say she's actually tried to turn over the crib with the baby in it. She tried to turn over the crib, but she did not. But she was, her intention was to flip that crib. The diagnosis is, they, they've told you this is ADHD, mm -hmm. oppositional defiant disorder, uh, conduct disorder. They've just given you a number of diagnoses, all that have to do with disruptive behavior. Yes. 